Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Wingspan. And this is our next match from the, oh, I can't remember what it's called now, the Xenosparis X Factor, there we go. <laughs> if anybody commented in the previous video saying the pronunciation was wrong, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm recording that before that video goes up. So anyway, I won my first game, so if I can get a win here then that will be this match over and done with. Um, and I'll be able to move on to the next stage, we'll have to see. Um, okay then, um, this is nice. Um, um, some nice, got nice wetland option, a couple of good um, forest options. Um, so yeah. Um, oh, -hoo -hoo. not ideal bonus cards. I might just go for ontologies because there is a, ugh, there is a. You know, I might be able to get one. That juniper tip is also kind of nice. That would be able to. That would complete the forest fairly well. It'd be fairly easy to play. Um. You know. So we're getting a point plus, you know, a lot of food. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of food from these two. So if that's the case, um, I guess I play it like this. Um, I play the gnat catcher first, get a new worm to play the yellow throat. Um, what food is here? No berry. If that's the case, I might do this and keep a berry. I can then pick up a seed to play the great tit later on as well. Um, great tit is going to give me some options because I can reset the bird feeder, which is kind of nice. Um, and then this gets a worm from the supply. Um, I don't know if I need to keep Red Knot here. I think I just go with these three easy birds to play, and then just dig, try and get some birds for Rodentologists. Um, got lots of egg space for the forest, so I can get some decent birds um, for that in the grassland. Brown powers, bowl nest, yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, let's just roll with this. Nice. Okay. I actually got a decent starting hand, so let's see if I can actually make it count. Nothing OP here, but just very easy to play. Um, I can grab the food for the great tit. Oh, I'll be, I'll be short. Um, yeah, I need to play this first, don't I? Yeah. Sweet. Gold finished in the tray. At the moment, I'm not too interested about picking that up. Um... So I'm going to have to lay eggs. Um, okay, that would be nice for odontologists, but never mind. Um, let's pick up a seed, and I'll get a worm. I mean, if need be, I might play this great immediately. Get food. Play yellow throat, and I might be able to then pick up the tip mouse and then play that immediately, and I'll have four birds down with no eggs. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't know if my opponent's going to pick up this tip mouse. I'll have to start digging and try and get some. I might maybe pick up this goldfinch. Good for the final end of round. Yeah, I might pick up that. Depends what else I get. Nutcracker is also an option, but I'm not very accustomed to playing that type of bird, so at the moment I'll hold off on it. Um, mm, I've plenty of food coming in. Um, so this is great. Um, get the forest set up. Pick up food. Play yellow throat. I'll get three cards, one of which I have to ditch, but I can pick up the tip mouse, play that. Yeah, good start so far. Okay. Oh. Okay, 
Right, let's get food. I'll re-roll. Perfect. Um, I don't need the worm. Actually, I can do this for the worm, this for the seed. I get another thing. Maybe I pick up a rat sort of in advance of getting rodentologist down. Yeah. I could have maybe get another seed for this goldfish, but I mean, I'm not going to be short of food, so I'm fine with this. <clears throat> I'm okay with this. So let's pop this down. So I can play the tip mouse at the end of the round if I want to. Um, do I pick up this goldfinch? Um, I mean, they've got a barn swallow. I probably should. I probably should pick that up. Oh, yeah. Definitely doing it now. Pick up one. Oh, and the flycatcher as well. Bloody hell. All the food. Do I take this titmouse then, if that's the case? I mean, I don't need... Do I really need... I mean, this gives me points. I get to cash, whereas this gives me extra food. Do I really need more worms? I'm going to discard one at the end of my turn. Let's take something else. Boom. Good for rodentologists. Maybe I get rid of the flycatcher. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I can't. Can I... I don't have food, so I'm going to definitely have one egg here. So, question is... I haven't got the food to play the finch, I can't do that. Do I play the... do I force down this owl? I can win the end of round. Do I pick up the titmouse? Do I really need this titmouse? Did I just get the owl down now, perhaps? Get food, play Goldfinch next turn, and then just keep digging. I think I'm going to force this. Yeah. I mean, I win the end of round, which is really nice. <sighs> Behaviorist isn't going to work with this column. And then, is Citizen Scientist going to work? I don't think so. I'd rather pick up Behaviorist. I think it's more likely I can get that to work. Sweet. Okay. So that's fine. I'm going first. Anything really good in the tray? Not particularly. Bard Owl for Rodentologist is okay. So let's, let's pick up, let's pick up from the deck. Okay, you you can be you can get you got rid of hummingbird. Hmm. Hummingbird could be quite nice. Um, give my opponent food, which is probably not the right idea. But I could play hummingbird, get the berry I need, and then get food and then play goldfinch. So oh yeah, of course you'd pick up the coup. Yeah, I need to try and get this goldfinch down. Just so I'm somewhat capitalizing. Oh, blue throat. I'm picking up blue throat. <laughs> I cannot let my opponent get that. Oh, and I get the raven. Oh, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, do I transition now to grassland? I'm going to be getting quite a lot of food to my opponent, but I don't think I really care. I'll get more food, I think. Do I need to? If there's now this amazing forest engine, well, it's not. I mean, I'm getting a lot of food from the forest. Do I? Um. Let's pick up food. Let's get a, this roll. Let's get, pick up the berry for this. Let's try and play the goldfinch first. And there's a seed. 
Perfect. So it means I can play Goldfinch, lay eggs, and then play Hummingbird. Um, I could even play Blue Throat instead. Do I need the Hummingbird then? Maybe I play Blue Throat instead. Um, oh, I need to think about the order of this, don't I? Mmm. I need to think about the order of this. Because I want to try and get Behaviorist. So I want Goldfinch to be in second column. So if that's the case, I kind of want to play the Hummingbird first, then lay eggs. And then play the Goldfinch, and then lay eggs again. So that could be my action. Yeah. I mean, what's the other option? I play Blue Throat here instead? I lay eggs twice and then play Goldfinch. I'm really delaying getting my Goldfinch down. But it just gives me more points. I don't. I don't need Hummingbird and Blue Throat and Raven. So I got the Blue Throat down instead. So I'm delaying getting Goldfinch down, but and then I just need a. White power bird to go here, and I've at least got a little bit of behaviors. Raven's good for rodentologist. I can get barn owl down as well. Hmm. I didn't expect to be going, but that, I'm I'm happy with what I'm getting. Yeah. And my opponent's gonna be struggling to get f a forest bird. I could probably win this end of round. So let's lay eggs. I need to pick up a berry. Again, I'm not happy that I'm giving my opponent lots of food, but the sooner I get this goldfish down, the better. And I can try and get Raven down the next round. So two eggs. I'm kind of doing this in the wrong order, so I'm not getting another egg. Maybe I do have to play Hummingbird here. Hmm. How am I going to have four eggs in the forest? Is that going to be enough to win the end of round? In... No, I only have three. So I'm going to have to play the goldfinch. Hmm. I mean, I won the, the first end of round, so I should be okay. So if I try and get Raven down, Barn Owl down, lay eggs, get lots of food, I need to try and pick up. I need to pick up cards as well. Hmm. Try and get some white power birds down. Try and get some big points, hopefully. Maybe try and get, like, Whooping Crane or a Puffin or... Oh! Oh, well, perfect for me. I'm, in, I'm winning the end of the round, then. Nice. Should I be playing this in the forest, then? No, 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 no. I want to I wanna only use that one egg. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Perfect. So at least now that's going to start working. I, that's a little bit slow, but I'm kind of happy where I'm at right now. 33 points already. If I can get these two birds down, it should be pretty easy. Once I get the raven down, I can get the food immediately for um, Barn Owl. Which is kind of nice. Oh, Flycatcher. Woodpecker. Woodpecker could be decent because I can get more bonus cards. I don't think my opponent's going to let me get Flycatcher, I don't think. Um... Nah, I, I didn't expect them to let me keep that. Um, let's try and get the raven down. Because I need rats. Am I going to get rats, though? Cuckoo. Hmm. I'm not going to be laying eggs all that often. But then do I have to pick that up to deny them it? I 
I mean, I could play it here. Oh man, I'm going to really slow down everything else. But I could try and play it here. In this third column, so I might be able to get two white power. I can get a brown power here, white power here. Hmm, maybe I do pick up cards now. Uh, I'm going to discard an egg. So I can pick up another one. Do I pick up this woodpecker? No, I think I can get other stuff. Hello, Bunting. I don't know if I'm going to need you. And wood duck. Don't really need you. Um, let's go with tree creeper. I don't think I need you. That wasn't very fruitful. Oh, fucking raven. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I've already got one, so I don't really care. So let's try and get... F I need to get food. Play raven. Lay eggs. Play barn owl. Where am I gonna... <sighs> Maybe I do have to go cuckoo now, because they are going to probably try to get that into their, um... They're going to try and get that going. Hmm. Baltimore Oriole. <sighs> I can't really pick you up right now. I need to get this raven down, so let's re-roll. Please give me a rat. Yes! Come on! Um... Anything else I need? Bunting's a possibility. Oh, I'm gonna get so much food. Um, let's pick up a worm. Reroll. Let's pick up another worm. Yeah, I kind of want that Oriole, but right now I just want to focus on getting this set up properly. So I'll play Raven. Get food. Oh no, I'll lay eggs. That should give me enough food to play both the barn owl and maybe the cuckoo. Do I play wood duck? In the wetland. To try and get just a couple... Just try and draw some more cards next round. No, because I need a white power down there. Ah. I need a white power here. So no, I don't play wood duck there. How's my opponent going to play that raven? Let's play this. Lay eggs. Play barn owl. Mm, yeah, the sooner I play cuckoo, the better. Mm, my opponent's just going full tuck. Um, kind of nuts. Um, let's start getting them into boldness for next round. I need two thingies. Do I get my opponent food? I kind of wanted to play this cuckoo. Hmm. Will I get? Oh, if I can imagine if I could get um, I need a pink or blue thing here and a white thing here. Am I gonna get them? How many turns am I gonna be digging <laughs> next turn trying to get them? Will I get them? Let's play Bond out. Okay, so it did play the Raven then. Okay, I ha they had the food for it already, so it didn't really matter. Let's play Bond out. It's a five point play because I'm getting a rodentologist bird. Oh, I'm not going to have eggs. Um, I'm not going to have egg space for cuckoo. So I think what I might do here is lay eggs in anticipation for. Four. Have they got more brown powers than this? I guess that's all they've got, right? They're gonna. Well, no, because every time they do this, they gain an egg on the blackbird, right? So they can just discard that to get food. It's actually not a bad setup they've got. 
they haven't got many tucks. I think I might be alright. It just depends on what they play next. And also if I just get good birds or not. So I'm going to lay eggs in anticipation that the tree is going to give me something I want. Do I pick up that wagtail to try and get a behaviorist thing going? Hmm. That's interesting. Do I pick up the wagtail? It's only worth one point on its own, but then with behaviorist... That's another three points. So it's four points in here. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know. So I might have to pick up next turn anyway. What other teal? I mean, what else could it be? A golden eye? I think that's the only other one I can think of. So do I pick it up while it's there? Or do I just ignore behaviorist and I just try and get like a double play in here or something? And I've got the wood dive. I really want to play something, but. Do I pick you up? Um, nah, let's lay eggs. No, nope, that's very unlikely to happen. And let's just pick up a variety of food. Do I give them food? I mean, they've got a raven, so I'm not really too fast, and they're going to be discarding their only egg every time to get food. So maybe i just give myself a seed to give me the option. Okay, so they win that end of round. I hope we can win the next one. Ah, this is not really what I want. Not really what I want. Um... Come on, let's dig. Pink power. That could go there. Not a very good in terms of points. Let's ditch an egg. Come on. Give me something better. Come on. Come on. That will do. <laughs> that will do. That will do. Very kindly. Thank you very much. And what am I looking for in here? A. That will do. Fantastic. Um, how many go I can go? Ooh, okay. Right, I'll at least get one behaviors column then. Um, so, do I just play Cuckoo and then Benelli and then just lay eggs? I think that's what I do. I think I play Cuckoo and then... Yeah. Let's play Cuckoo here, because then I could discard a food if... Cause I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to food, right? So I can just discard it to get an extra egg. So let's do that. Perfect. Okay. I can play Benelli, and I can just lay eggs loads of times. Hmm. My points aren't that great. Well, at least... It'll hit Rodentology, it'll hit Behaviorist. So this on its own is 11... 11, 13, 16 points just for the Benelli. And then I'm going to lay eggs twice. So that's 10 more points. Plus Cuckoo might give me some. So thank you very much. I've got plenty of space. So I'm not going to run out. So let's play this. Oh, thank you very much. She's giving me free food. Nope, you're down here, son. Okay. Uh... Get rid of these. Ooh, okay. Perfect. <clears throat> and I can just lay eggs into all of my bowl nests. I'm going to give a couple of spaces just in case. Can my opponent. One, two. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got. 
eight bowl nest spaces, I've got more than that. And I'm going to be laying at least 10 eggs. So this is fine. Yeah, so I'm going to get... Thank you. So I'm going to get at least 10 more points here from this stuff. So that will take me up to 87. If I win the end of the round, that'll be 94. And I might get some extra tucks and eggs along the way. So I might be pushing 100 points again. So that's okay. Uh, let's get these bowl nest spaces put up first. I'll keep the gold finch free. Uh, roll. No. Unlucky. Nope. Don't need food. Nope. Don't need food. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That... Nelly, though. That's uh, very handy stuff. I'm kind of happy I kept this free, though, because I might have got something like a wild turkey or an Eastern Period Eagle that could have gone here. So I could have put the cuckoo up here if I needed to. I Much better if the cuckoo had been there earlier. Ooh, Oriole. Nice. Getting some good points. Uh, I think I might have enough, though. I don't think they've got enough tucks to beat me. <laughs> Especially since I've got some of my own. Um, so I need to keep one space free on this bowl nest in case they give me a free egg. I don't know if they will, but I think they might. So I'll lay one here. Yeah, there's no way they open the end around. Another one here. Mm, yep. Roll. Nope. Wasn't to be, but that's fine. It hit for rodentologist, so it's okay. I don't know if that bar now was worth it, but oh well. I got five points out of it, so. That's okay. Um, yeah, I didn't expect, after th that really nice start here with these two, I didn't expect to suddenly be going fully grassland, but it worked out. It worked out. So we'll see if it's enough to win. I hope so. If I can get a 2 and no sweep here, that'll boost my confidence somewhat. Give me another tuck. Thank you very much. 88. So on 95, I think? Have they got enough tucks? I don't know. Yeah, okay, nice. Have I got all those bonus cards? Then that's decent. I'm going to pull it back here. Whoa! That was much, that was closer than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, I didn't think that many, but fair enough. Um, but just got enough to win. Um, did I count in a round? Oh, I won the first two. I thought I didn't win this one for some reason. Uh, that's why. Okay, well that helped out a lot. Well, thank you very much, Benelli, for showing up when you did. Uh, otherwise, this might not have worked out. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I, I got 94 in the first game, and I've got 95 this time. Happy days. My opponent score was much better this time. It was a really good game. Um, I didn't think they had enough tucks, but they did. Um, I should have probably got that gold finished down a bit sooner, but it all worked out. Happy days. Cool. Okay, let me sort out some stuff, and I'll be back to do a little recap in a minute. Well, happy days. Um, I don't know what really to recap about. Um... I kind of wish I had got something else in here just to get a little bit more card draw and I might have found something even more powerful like I was looking for a heron and like a woodstalk play or a puffin something like that but Benelli, happy Benelli just appeared at the right moment I got so many points from that I think I counted correctly right well I had, I had spent an egg didn't I so that's 11 10 points uh, 13 15 points from one bird that's kind of what you want so yeah, really good. And even though yeah, they got the Raven, and they got all this going. Um, nice, good points here at the end with the Oreo and the uh, Flycatcher. Um, but I just got my stuff just set up that little bit faster, and uh, it was enough. So yeah, good. Okay, so I'm going, I'm progressing to the next match. Uh, I already know who my opponent is, because um, the, they've already played their fixtures, so they are ready and waiting, so I don't know when I'm going to play. Um, I have to go now and finish off a match from the Wandering Albatross Wrestle, but 
you had already seen that video. It's just mind boggling YouTube stuff. So yeah, that's what happens when you get two tournaments on the go at the same time. Uh, probably not <laughs> my wisest idea, but never mind. But thank you for watching, everybody. If you see anything um, that you want to comment on, then feel free to do so. And thank you again for the support from the Wingspan community. It's all been just fantastic. Really nice stuff. Um, and I'll just see you for... Since I made it through, <laughs> I'll see you for the next installment from this tournament very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.